Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys Skill Crush, which is one of the first programming courses I've ever took online. And it's still to this day one of my favorite places to learn about programming for beginners, just because it's super user friendly and the instructors who teach the course are really helpful and nice and they actually are very interactive with the students. So I think that this is a great online course for anybody considering learning about programming and are looking to invest in their first online programming course for the first time. So let's do a quick run through of it today and I'll give you a full review of what I like, what I don't really like about Skill Crush, and let's get so the first thing I wanted to show you, I guess, was the courses that they offered. The first one is the Break Into Tech course, and that's basically their master course, which contains a lot of their classes combined into one, plus some extra bonuses like career coaching sessions, etc. That's not the one that I did though, because I think at the time when I started, they didn't even have this program. So I just went with the individual courses. And the one that I did first was the web development course. I think they don't have that exact one anymore because they kind of split it up into front end development and they also have another one called full stack development. Um, but I basically learned HTML, um, CSS, JavaScript, um, Ruby in that class. And then I added on a React course during my internship because um, I needed to learn React. So I thought this would be a good way for me to pick up all the React basics that I would need to know. And then um, I signed up for this Python course right here. So um, lots of different courses, not just for coding, but they also have user experience, visual design, digital marketing courses that you could look into. And what's cool about this page that they have is that when you click on learn more and stuff, they really give you a good rundown of what you can learn in that course. So let's say front end development, they basically tell you how long it usually takes for people to complete it. Um, they have like this video that tells you more about it, um, about the job growth and everything. You can even download the syllabus and they tell you what are some of the projects that you'll do and what you'll learn. And they basically tell you the tools that you will learn and all these specific skills that you can include in your portfolio and stuff like that. And they also tell you if this course is for you or not. And they also have this FAQ section, which is really Really helpful if you have other questions that might not be answered and you could probably also just ask them um, through the email they're really responsive so I would just say if you have any questions just go ahead and ask them um, but yeah let's go take a look at what my courses look like inside okay so now we are in the course portal and it shows all the lessons that I have here and what my progress is Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is that they do have a free course as well that you can sign up on their homepage. And it's a pretty good, um, I think it's like 10 days or something or eight days. Um, and it basically give you a quick run through of what coding is, um, basic HTML and everything, CSS, things like that. So you could find out if you actually enjoy their content or um, not. So you can make an educated choice about whether you want to get one of the paid courses or not. And as you can see, the format of these free courses is basically the same way that their paid courses are structured. I went through this when I was deciding whether I wanted to get it or not. And I really enjoyed the free course. So I would say just try to um, go through the free course if you want and see if this is a course that would interest you. And then after going into your classes, um, I would say that format pretty similar they just have a lot more content and resources and i'm really impressed so for example they do have these videos um and once you click on the video, it basically is very animated and they have, a, I guess they have really good graphic designers because I love watching their videos. They, the animations and everything make coding seem super easy and fun. So whatever there's a concept that you're not clear with, their videos usually help you out a lot. And if you're somebody who likes to read a lot, the text part is really nice too. They basically explain everything um, with these colorful pages and they have code snippets on the page. So it's really a good tool for you to learn some of the basics. Oh, and they also have places where you can try out code for yourself. And they have code editors and everything included that you can run things through. And they once you save it, it does show you a solution. So um, that's pretty cool as well. So you can check your work. And they do have projects, as I mentioned before, as well. Um, let's see where I can find them later in this course. They usually let you um, learn the concepts first before throwing you into the deep end. Um, so here we can see they also have quizzes that you take 
to make sure they understand the concepts. And I believe the projects are at the end. So if you see the part where it says you find a project, this is where you would do it. And um, basically they have these bonus projects as well that you can create. So I would say a really comprehensive course. They also have a bunch of resources and downloads and cheat sheets. Their cheat sheets are extremely comprehensive. And as I said, their graphic designer is great because it's really, really cool how they set up the cheat sheets um, makes it super easy to read and everything and I would say that each one of the classes are set up like this um, even more complicated concepts and stuff I still find it pretty easy to digest because they split everything up into very digestible chunks so you never really get overwhelmed and everything um, and they have these many exercises that you do after each video or reading so I would say that if you're a beginner this is a really good tool just for you to stay structured and basically these lessons like one two three they can be done like in a day so um, it makes it easy for you to digest the information and besides that as you can see on the side here they do have extra resources and master classes as well so if you click on the master class section they have these like one day workshops or whatnot like it's about an hour long with these guest speakers that you can watch as well and they also have live q a sessions and i think this is extremely useful i don't know any other um class online class like this that offers 30 minute group video calls unlimited as much as you want whenever you get stuck it could be like oh i forgot a comma or something but you just didn't see it somebody could probably help you out or um, if you just don't understand a lesson so basically you just click on the lesson that you are struggling with and you just figure out which instructor you want to help you with and you set your time zone and um, right now it's christmas so there's not a lot of sessions but usually any of these people would be able to help you out and um, i would say that this is one of the best tools that i see here um, and just being able to have that live in-person support that online classes don't usually give especially at this price level i don't see a lot of classes offering this so i would say this is a huge benefit for beginners because i don't know about you but sometimes when you're just doing things on your own you're unlikely to be able to get through everything without getting stuck once or twice and the Slack community. Now, this is something I really love as well. The Slack community includes all the students as well as instructors. And I just think that this is a great community for you to be able to ask questions and to get tips, um, resources, um, portfolio reviews, anything along the, sort, the lines of that. And it's even split the channels into the specific lessons that you're working on. And there's always mentors in this group chat like i'm not kidding this is not a dead slack channel or anything if you do um, have a question in here a moderator or um, a skill crush instructor will reply um, for example somebody here um, asked a question and these um, skill crush instructors basically gave them the answer um, really fast um, i never experienced somebody just ignoring my question completely. So I would say this Slack group is a really big help as well. So that's some of the main reasons why I really love Skill Crush, the in-person support and the ability to actually get your questions answered in a reasonable amount of time, in addition to the really digestible classes. So I would say that this is a really good course for any beginner too. Now, having said all the things that I loved about Skill Crush, are you wondering if there's anything that I think could be improved or stuff that I don't necessarily like? Well, not a lot, but there is some parts of this course that I wish could be added. I think that the main reason is because Skill Crush is primarily focused on helping freelancers and people who want to start their own um, business or be able to pick up projects um, as a freelancer. So they don't have a lot of resources to help you um, find a full-time job or if if you actually want to work at a company as a developer or um, creative or etc so that's kind of on your own although the career counselors and the master class might be able to help you more with that but for people taking individual courses there's a little less support you could always ask in the slack group and things like that um, but they don't have a lot of specific resources just for career training as you can see here they have this one area but it's i would say it's pretty simple material like how to make a resume and cover letter and things like that um, but not too too much about um, how to actually um, prepare for technical interviews or anything like that so i would say if you're trying to do a technical role and work for another company um, you might have to have some other resources to prepare for those technical interviews um, but if you're just 
a beginner trying to learn technical skills, maybe this is something that you're just interested in um, or you just want to get a good start in, I would say this course would be really good because it's digestible and the information you could keep coming back to, you have unlimited lifetime access to it. So I think the amount of support you get in terms of getting started in programming, this course would be really good. So let me know if you have any other questions. I just wanted to share this with you because this was my first programming course that I ever did and I still really enjoy it. So yeah, let me know and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.